In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be showing you the best run, and it's not what you think it is, and it's not stretch, but it's an expansion upon stretch. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, a couple of days ago, I did a video on wide zone, and I talked a little bit about kind of the concept of the real NFL, you know, what is it that, that they do and why the Denver Broncos, when, Kyle, when Mike uh, Shanahan was a head coach, what they used with wide zone and why Terrell Davis was so effective. Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about true wide zone. Yes, it is in Madden 21, but it's only in one playbook. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, we post four times a day here on YouTube, and we also have a texting membership. We just started. is uh, all you have to do to sign up for it is just shoot me a text message. Literally, my phone number's in the top left of the screen. It's also in the description. It's 812-216-3644, so there you go. Pull out your phone, shoot me a text, let me know you wanna receive it. We have a 50-minute video um, going. We also have a, uh, a video that talks about, we just released yesterday, of a 45-minute mini scheme from the gun cluster in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. All right, guys, let's jump into this. So I form pro. We're in the Rams playbook, and I want to first start with this play, and I want to kind of talk about it. So the running scheme from this is really, really, really good. Um, basically, inside zone week is one of the audibles you're going to want to have. You're going to want to have 26 duo in your audibles. And then I come out in wide zone every play, but you can also put that in your audibles as well. Wide zone is the play that we're going to talk about the most today. Now, uh, I do want to cover why wide zone is different than stretch. And so what we'll do is we'll show you uh, the single back um let me see if i can just find like a standard sh uh stretch i think single back wing slot will have yep stretch alert bubble and then i think it has inside zone uh, or zone week okay there we go okay so let's jump right into this uh we're gonna put raheem mostert at tailback i like use check right there and then you can have you know whoever you want at receiver i think uh, brandon Ayuk is pretty good in my opinion but, you know, we're just gonna go against random defense i'm gonna talk about this so wide zone and you can run it either direction um but basically what's going to happen is you're going to look at the right side linebacker, whoever's the outside guy. So in this example, it would be Chase Winovich on the right. Okay, so I'm going to look at him. If he gets pinned down, if he gets crashed down, then I'm going to bounce it out. If he goes wide, then I'm going to cut it in between my uh, tackle and my guard. So watch how they move here. See that opening? See that lane? What I like about this run is this run is much, much different than stretch and the fact that I feel like you're not going to get shot down as much. This is true wide zone. This is true wide zone. Watch what, watch the blockers. Snap of the ball. See how they're going to work here on this front. And this is, this is what we're talking about. We could have ran that outside. But basically, your, your choice, once you get to right here, that's where you can choose. You're either going to go outside or you're going to go inside. And right here, we could have done both. But we'll show you as we go through this. That's what you really want to get good at, and that's what you really want to master. So, like, right here, we're going to go outside, and you see we're going to get out, and we're going to roll, and we're going to run for, a you know, a ton of yardage. This run can be ran both ways as well. We can flip the run, so we can just playmaker to the left, run it that direction as well. And you see, if that, if that tackle wins his block then we're going to get outside and we're going to run. That's why it's called wide zone. It's an option. You're basically choosing, do you want to go outside or do you want to go inside? As you see right there, there's another example of that. So it's a simple read, but I'm telling you right now, this run and what makes it so good is the fact that it really doesn't get gap shot. Um, the gap shoot on it from what most people will try to do to shoot that gap is they're going to try to shoot it like they're going to shoot a stretch run. The problem is you can't shoot this run like you shoot a stretch run. You have to shoot it like a wide zone, and no one really faces wide zone, so nobody knows how to shoot it. And this run, I'm telling you what, I ran for 271 yards on 20 carries last night in a straight game. I ran this run every single play. The opponent knew I was running the run, and he still couldn't stop it. He was doing everything he could. He was running goal line. He was running uh, all sorts of great defense, all sorts of defenses that really would stop stretch or would stop. I mean, they were sellout defenses. They were defenses he was truly selling out to stop it. But that's what I'm getting at with this. And like I said, basically, you're literally just going to read that tackle. Now, sometimes you'll see that little hole right there can open up for you. This is a run that you have to be patient with. This is a run that you have to be patient with. And in my opinion, you're going to run right here, and then you're just going to, you're often going to see people talk about in wide zone the cutback. It's not a cutback. It's just a cut up. Literally, 
look how how much ground and we'll show you here uh, we'll do another play because we didn't get a good example there but what, what i want to show you is how much ground your lineman will cover on this run and that's what makes it so good so let me look at this real quick and this is what um back to what coach gibbs was talking about when we watched the first video on this basically what you're looking at here is you're watching this center see how far he takes him he's going to take him three yards to the right side he's covering so much ground so you're out here on the edge but look right here this is where you get your option where you want to go where do you want to go do you want to go do you want to bounce it out there we probably should have but you know, as a general rule, you're going to take about three steps to the right. So one, two, three, and then you're going to cut whichever way you want to go. At that third step, that's when you've got to be deciding where you want to go. And you you can decide it. Like you can you can go early, uh, as you see right there. But what I would recommend, this cutback is not exactly you know easy to cut all the way back to the left. But you can actually double juke, as you see right there, and you can you can double juke with this run, and you can cut it all the way back across the grain, and that 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 takes um it's not really a double juke it's basically a juke to the right and a hard cut to the left so literally what you're going to do you're going to come this way hard cut to the left and you see i can basically reverse field wherever i want to go now i can also do that if i just want to go up field so i'm going to come this way and then i just want to go straight up field that's a way that you can kind of control your cuts in this one cut system it's actually the way it was really designed to be ran in my opinion by uh by coach shanahan and by uh coach gibbs the niners run this all the time this is the niners like bread and butter play this is the play they must make go this is their lombardi sweep this is the play they will run again and again and again but you see the lanes see the running lanes that you're going to get on this run that's what makes it so effective so it's in the rams playbook there's a ton of really good plays in the Rams playbook what I want to do right now is show you the the stretch and this is just a simple stretch from uh, wing slot uh, and you can run this as well you not that you can't run stretch it's just the wide zone is different than stretch that's what I want you to see see the difference right there on wide zone the lineman would have sealed that edge and you would have cut it up on stretch your only option is to get outside you're, you're, you're not running that run down the middle unless you're really, really good on your joystick. So that's that's what I'm getting at. Um, you see how far, how much wider the stretch run is? It's truly an outside zone type of play. It's not wide zone. Wide zone, um, it, it, it will allow a lot more opportunity for you to cut back. And you can tell, look at the, look at the running angle. You see here his running angle. He's going outside the tackle. Um, now let me show you wide zone real quick. Let me see if I can get back to it. Uh, iPhone Pro. And this is, I have not found this wide zone run in any other playbook in Madden. And the Rams playbook actually has a really good shotgun plays as well. But see how see how he's kind of curving down? That's the difference. It's the, the steps of the back, and obviously the way the linemen are programmed to block it, make it so, so different. And you can do all kinds of things. Like one of the things I like to do is motion born to the left and snap kind of right in here. And then same thing, there's that wide zone, there's that nice cut. You get such a good seal, you really get that edge cut off, and they're going to slice and die, you know, literally right here. Now, And but, but what's really important that you understand about this run is that you don't run it like you run stretch. You need to run it like wide zone, is if you try to run this like stretch, you're going to be frustrated. The run's not designed, really the, the core of the run is really not designed to go outside, it's designed to go right in this little pocket right here where I was just at. It's designed to go vertical. It's not designed to be a horizontal. You're not trying to do that. You know, if you try to do that, you're going to be in trouble because the, the programming of the running play is going to push defenders that direction. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get your seal here and here and run the ball in the alley right in between that uh, wide receiver or that tight end and that 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 guard you see right here that's a very very good version of wide zone and it's a simple yard gainer like but but the thing is with this run play i'm telling you if you go and run this play you're going to be surprised at how how little you get stopped in the backfield and how much like it's going to rely on one linebacker to make a play or not make a play so Anyways, guys, that's Wide Zone. If you haven't joined the texting membership, text me to get those free videos. And then also, if you have not uh, joined the Discord, there's a link to join that in the description. Our CFM starts tomorrow on PS4, so if you want to play in the CFM, please shoot me a text and let me know. We literally only have, like probably 10 spots left so just shoot me a text so that i can get you a spot saved we'll see you guys we got a couple more videos uh coming today and then we do have uh, our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern